the entire economy of the world in real goods and services is evaluated at around $78 trillion annually. The derivative market is seven times the value of every good and every service provided around the world in an entire year. At first, I thought this number was too big to be real. But the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, Independent Bureau of the U.S. Department of the Treasury, confirms it. Make no mistake, you are looking at the biggest bubble in the history of mankind, something seven times greater than the entire economy of the world. So what exactly is a derivative? A derivative is a speculative contract, a bet placed on stocks, mortgages, interest rates, the price of commodities like gold, silver, coffee, oil, or the possibility of a company or even a nation to default. Basically, right now, there is nothing of economic worth that does not have some sort of derivative attached to it. All derivatives are bets. This is not a metaphor, an analogy, or a generalization. The players on the derivative market gamble trillions on the future price of the asset to which the derivative is attached. These are the speculative contracts that will eventually pop the current gigantic bubble. Warren Buffett once referred to derivatives as financial weapons of mass destruction. And he was proven right. The CDOs that led to the crash of 2008 were derivatives as they drew their value from interest payments on mortgages and housing prices. They were traded on this market just like all the other derivatives, and they were just a tiny part of the market. In 2008, there were about $500 billion worth of CDOs. That was only a very tiny fraction of the derivatives market, yet it was enough to almost collapse the economy of the world. Remember how I said that this is the world's largest casino? In a nutshell, the derivatives market, or more correctly put, the derivatives casino, is where big banks and other financial institutions place their bets on every aspect of the world economy. Yet with these bets, everybody loses. So how did this bubble inflate to more than $550 trillion? Say Jack controls the derivative department of one of the too big to fail banks. He knows that the riskier the bet, the higher the profit he gets, and the bigger his bonus. And he thinks, just like everyone else, that if he loses, the Federal Reserve will bail him out just like in 2008. What do you think Jack would do? How much do you think Jack would bet on derivatives? Well, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency has the exact numbers. Citigroup, total assets, more than $1.8 trillion. Total exposure to derivatives, more than $53 trillion. J.P. Morgan Chase, total assets, about $2.4 trillion total exposure to derivatives, more than $51 trillion. Goldman Sachs, total assets, less than a trillion dollars. Total exposure to derivatives, more than $51 trillion. Bank of America, total assets, a little bit more than $2.1 trillion. Total exposure to derivatives, more than $45 trillion. Morgan Stanley, total assets, less than a trillion dollars. Total exposure to derivatives, more than $31 trillion. Overall, the biggest U.S. banks collectively have more than $247 trillion of exposure to derivatives contracts. This is an amount of money that is more than 13 times the size of the U.S. national debt. 